Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a weekly life update on my journal. You'll notice that this was in March and so I'm probably about a month late in posting but that's life. Anyway, here I'm doing a little illustration of myself based off of a photo that I took that week. I wanted something quick and easy so I just literally traced the photo and then printed it on a clear sticker using my Puli Thermal printer. I really like doing this but I have to make sure that I'm only doing a very basic illustration and that I'm not using or not putting too many details because the print isn't all that sharp otherwise. So yeah, line drawings are really the best way to go when using thermal printers, I find. It's really cute. Now that this is printed, I am cutting it to size. Cutting it to sh size? Cutting it to shape? One of the two. <laughs> um, usually, I print on like a regular paper and that's easy enough to rip. But this one, the, the clear sticker paper that they have, is really quite strong. I'm using my Hobonichi cover with an A6 MD insert in grid, which are my two go-tos when it comes to memory keeping. This is what I generally use. If you also notice, I have these two blue Penko, Penko clamps. Um, they were sent to us by friends in LA. Thank you, Kuya Egai and Ate Madel. <laughs> As you can see, everything right now, well not everything, but most of the stuff that I have here on my desk right now is blue. So I like using these clamps right now because my current Hobonichi cover has some blue in it. My sticker binder is blue. So you know, it's matchy matchy. Anyway, as I'm watching myself go through sticker binder after sticker binder, looking for like specific stickers it just it makes me want to go more like i don't want to say it but it makes me want to go a little bit more minimalist i know i can't do minimalist because i love stickers but i've been toying with the idea of using less stuff on my spreads i don't know if it will ever happen but i'm thinking about it um Especially because lately I find myself really enjoying using fountain pens and seeing the way that they shade and, and making illustrations. So maybe, maybe that's something that I can try out next time. Um, as you can see here, I just mapped the page, which is usually what I do when I'm not feeling very <laughs> adventurous. Uh, whenever I can. That is often how I start. Um, I map the page first and see how I want the ephemera to flow, where I want my writings to be before actually sticking them on the page. It doesn't often work out the way that I map it, but it just it just helps me visualize the spread. I feel like I'm jumping from one topic to another. But yes, usually I do have a problem with over decorating my pages. Um, and using too much stuff but I feel like with this one I'm striking a really good balance of just not putting too much stuff on my spread and as one of my subscribers put it letting my spread letting my pages breathe so yeah I also really just want to rave about these transfer stickers from Traveler's Company they're really great and I can't believe that I just used my fingers and it transferred so cleanly I didn't at all get any of the numbers or letters close by and <laughs> I don't know if that's normal but I've tried once before and they are not as good as this one these are by far the better transfer stickers Yep, I love these transfer stickers. I'm so sorry it's so loud outside. Um, I am close to the window and I had my windows open and it's right after school and there are children like playing outside and I had no idea because I have my earphones on. Anyway, 
this page so far reminds me of how I used to journal. Like I used to journal using generally neutral tones like all browns and beiges. It's not how I have been journaling lately. Lately, I'm more into color or I at least I try to add a bit of color to a neutral page. But this here is a really nice throwback to my old journal entries. So no big deal, just kids screaming in the background. <laughs> Usually when I'm journaling or usually during the like the decorating phase of my journaling I would be listening to music or an audiobook So I really would have no idea <laughs> what noises are around me But when I'm writing my entries, I can't listen to anything else but music without lyrics or You know usually some studio Ghibli music in the background or classical music I can think otherwise back to the page I am currently using a I think it's a zebra brush marker I'm not sure I will confirm that um, I love these brush markers obviously I've used this up until it's dried out which is what's happening right now I think that it is time to buy a new one Okay, so I just double checked and it is not in fact Zebra, it's actually Pentel. I also do use the Zebra brush marker and I use that one for illustrations and I love that. Speaking of illustrations, I really really like this sticker sheet from Midori because they look like they're hand drawn with a brush marker. They just have that roughly sketched effect. When's on the page, actually, it almost looks like I drew it on there myself, which is kind of cute. I also like how it matches the vibe of the little collage that I have on the left so perfectly. I'm also able to pick specific designs that have something to do with the updates that I would be writing about on the spread. So that's a, a bonus, I would say. If you've watched my last ones, you'll know that that I really struggle with over decorating and not knowing when to stop but to be honest I really am liking the way that this page is progressing I feel like it's a good balance so far what I think what I think helps is having a big sort of background sticker or ephemera and building that collage from there the one that I have here, like I mentioned, is from a bag of beans that a close friend sent Kevin many, many months ago. I actually saved it for journaling. And this was before Kevin started keeping his bag of beans so he can journal about them himself. He currently has like a traveler's notebook insert where he has some clippings from his bags of beans. And I think that he rates them, like he puts his ratings. And that he also adds like what notes, what coffee notes there are or something. I don't know. But yeah, once he's done, I'm gonna ask him if I can do um, kind of like a flip through of his coffee journal for one of my videos. If that's something that you guys want to see. Um, if you guys want to see how Kevin journals, how my husband journals. But yeah, anyway going back to the page usually when I start like doing this when I watch myself like do this in videos as I'm recording the voiceover I worry that I am about to over decorate but spoiler alert from again voice over me who's watching this video I did not over decorate I'm so proud of myself I think that I am done with this page and that I am about to write my thoughts which I am I'm correct so now I'm just writing a bunch of updates about March so far for me and there's only so much that I can share right now that I feel comfortable enough sharing but I gotta admit that March was a weird month for me 
it was an adjustment going back to work and going back to our old routines for three months before this my husband Kevin and I were away to help with a family emergency so we were home in Ontario for a while and as much as it's nice to be back to work again back to our own bed our old routines and all that it was it was hard being away from family especially during that time but yeah before this gets heavy that's it that's what i journaled here and a little snippet of what's happening in my life lately so that's it for today's video i just want to thank you for hanging out with me and journaling with me today i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe i hope to see you again next week i appreciate you bye